Hi, I'm Joe Dante. Keep watching the skies because today's trailer from hell is the classic Earth versus the Flying Saucers, a picture that I saw at the Denville Theater in 1956, and it, uh, I thought it was actually electrifying. I'd never seen special effects like this, courtesy of Ray Harryhausen. Here's the trailer. Well, the sirens are on and the alert is sounded because the Flying Saucers are here. Uh, in the 50s, of course, there was a huge scare about flying saucers, and this picture was based on a book by Major Donald E. Kehoe, author of Flying Saucers Are Real, which almost all of us kids had a copy of, a dog-eared copy. Ray Harryhausen's effects work here is really Oscar-worthy, but of course nobody gave nominations to Sam Katzman Productions, even when they were based on topical stuff. Because of the highly technical nature of Harryhausen's work and his storyboards, very few of his films were directed by top-tier directors. This one was written by blacklisted Bernard Gordon and is a slightly better script than usual. But of all the efficient technicians who did these pictures, uh, the director of Earth vs. Flying Saucers stands out. This was uh, Fred Sears' best-known film, Forgotten Fred Sears, who had an amazing B-picture run of nearly 30 pictures from 1953 to 1957, none less than competent, and several really promising within the straitjacket of Sam Katzman and titles like Ambush at Tomahawk Gap and Calypso Heatwave. He was a workaholic who literally worked himself to death succumbing to a cerebral hemorrhage in 1957 at the age of 44, with five movies already completed and released after his death. He's definitely a subject for further study, and of course this is his most famous picture, uh, but it's not of course due to him, it's due to Ray Harryhausen, who has been lucky to be one of the technicians who has managed to live long enough to actually be appreciated in his own lifetime. Ray does a lot of book signings and personal appearances, he gets a lot of well-deserved accolades that uh, people like Willis O'Brien of course could never hope to get. One of the coolest things about this picture is the aliens, which we don't see much of, and are voiced by uh, ace voice artist Paul Fries. This is a voice speaking to you from thousands of miles beyond your planet. They're coming down to take over. They made that clear to us in the saucer. Some of the uh, amazing stuff, this is, this is actually newsreel footage that um, Ray has managed to find a way to use and to put his own stop motion stuff over. And these flying saucers have become kind of iconic because there's a lot of footage from this movie that gets used over and over. Uh, Orson Welles used some in, in uh, F for Fake, as a matter of fact. Anyway, this was a 10-year-old's dream, and uh, I think it still holds up pretty good today.